Well, thank you all. It's so good to be here with my colleagues, Senator Gardner and Senator Daines and Senator Tester. And I don't know if Senator Burr is joining us, but certainly so appreciate his steadfast support in making sure that in the Senate that LWCF gets a vote and that we continue to move forward. As many of my colleagues have already said, this is a juggernaut when it comes to an ingredient for our economy. The fact that we give people access to our public lands helps grow jobs, gives our citizens recreational opportunities, and gives our communities a peace of mind and wholeness that is so important in the United States of America. I want to thank everybody here who's been working so hard on not only getting permanent reauthorization of LWCF, but making that investment in the next generation of what we call access to our public lands. The fact that our colleagues on both sides of the aisle have supported in the United States Senate enough votes to work with our colleagues in the House to get spending that is mandatory for both more park investment and for LWCF is a great statement about our opportunities for the future. There are so many people here that have been champions. Uh, Joanna Grist, who is one of the top champions of LWCF in both Washingtons, thank you so much. Joe Rotter, who is the co-founder of Red Fly Shop, one of the best fly fishing shops in the Northwest, if not the country. And Joe, I want you to know I've already floated the Yakima, but I'm gonna come back and float it again with you. And his statement is what really characterizes this. LWCF is one of those ideas that puts everybody around the campfire together. And that is why we have to keep moving forward. And I also want to thank Kathy Baker from the, Nat the Nature Conservancy because she too has done so much work on this legislation. As my colleagues have said, we're here in the lame duck and we need to get the LWCF permanently reauthorized and make the down payment for the future of our public lands. Nothing could be more important on our agenda for this lame duck session. It's time that Congress not go into 2019 with a big question mark around such an important asset for growing our economy. If nothing else, we owe it to our veterans, to those in our community that recreate on public lands who hunt and fish and go outdoors to have the peace of mind to know that we are not going to leave Washington, D.C. with such an important lands bill hanging in the balance with months and months of more uncertainty. Let's get this job done for those men and women who have served our country. Thank you.